In this video, we'll discuss graphical methods of image formation. We know that if we have a lens and we place a parallel light here, in case of converging lens, it converges to a focal point. By experiment, we can observe the same even if the rays are not parallel. So we have a source here S and we have a converging lens. It also converges to some point S1 and we want to know where this point S1 is, where this image is getting formed. So in case of converging lens, first thing first, an image is formed on the principal axis at S1 and this is a real image. In case of diverging lens, the rays of light travels like this, get diverged and when we extend the ray, basically an image is formed at S1 which we can view from here. And this is a virtual image. So real image is something which we can put on a screen or a piece of a paper or a film. But real image is something which only which Sorry, a virtual image is something which we can only see and cannot put it on the screen. Real images are formed by the actual ray of light with a sort of cut at a point like this and virtual images are formed when we have to extend the ray of light like this in the backward direction and where they meet we have a virtual image. So now let's start and try and find out the distance OS1. Here Let's say we have this converging lens and at S we have a source of light and the ray of light is traveling getting bent and an image is formed at S1 and we want to find OS1. So to, so to do that basically we, we can take any ray of light let's say S A. And it is hitting the lens and we want to know where the image will form. Now let's draw a parallel line to SA. So this will be like a parallel ray of light. And we know that these two parallel lines are going to meet at the focal point. So this is the focal point. Sorry, so these parallel, parallel rays are going to meet on the focal plane which lies on the focal point. This is our focal point F. So if we know F, we can trace the rays like this. Now let's consider ray SB, draw a parallel to it and then we know that because these are parallel rays, they are going to meet again on the focal plane at B. The third ray which we want to draw is from S through the optical center and it will pass straight. Now. As there is the rate we meet here, it will travel in the straight line and cut again at S1 and this is where the image will be formed. We can measure all this distance geometrically to determine the distance. Now in case of <coughs> the source of light is between the focal point and the optical center, then what happens? So in this case too, basically we have a source here and we again send our arbitrary lay here and this one here. Then we draw a parallel line to this one. So now these two rays are parallel and they will meet on the focal plane. Similarly for this one, let's draw a parallel line here. Now this ray and this ray is parallel and they will meet on the focal plane. And after this they will travel like this and this. Now we, if we extend the rays in the different direction, they are going to cut at the optical axis and this is where the image will be formed. So this is the second case. The first case was when the source of light was beyond the focal point and in the case two, source of light was between the optical center and the focal point.
now suppose we want to find out where the image will be formed the source of light is on a secondary axis so here we have this principal axis right this is our uh, optical center and instead of the source of light on the principal axis like we had it here earlier it is now shifted and over here in order to do that we need to draw three rays and that will be sufficient to formulate the image first one we know that a parallel ray to the principal axis we know that the parallel ray to the principal axis is going to cut at the focus and go like this the second ray will draw through the optical center and we know that it will not get refracted and will pass straight and this ray where they will cut will have our image the third ray we can draw through the focal point here and after going through it it will go parallel and all these three ray will cut at a point s s1 and this is where the image will be formed an image of s at s1 now suppose uh, we have our source between the optical center and the focal point then how we can trace that so once again the first ray will draw through the optical center will pass straight second will draw parallel to the principal axis which will meet at the focal point and third ray in the direction of focal point which will pass parallel to the principal axis now these two rays when extended and the third one extended where they will meet the image will be formed at s1 so image of s will be formed at s1 and in this case because we have to extend the rays this is a virtual image and other cases where we do not have to extend the ray but the ray is cutting they were called a real image now suppose this is our optical axis this is the focal point and now we have a diverging lens if you remember we said that we display diverging lens as like this so this is a diverging lens so to formulate the image basically we simply draw uh, sorry this is the source s so from here the first ray will pass through the optical center without any diversion second we draw a ray parallel which will meet when extended at the focal point like this the third ray will pass through the focal point extended and basically pass parallel to the principal axis now if we extend this ray here this one here and this focus one here this is where the image will be formed and again this is going to be a virtual image so now we have a full object ab and we want to know how the image will be formed we know that we can form the image of a particular source point a somewhere by using the previous method and for the b again somewhere with the previous method and assuming that the whole image will be formed of all these points so if we are able to find the location of image for the point a and b and then we can simply sort of join those points to form the image of the object so let's try and find out where the image for the point a will be formed to do the to do that basically we draw our first ray like this it will pass through the optical center second ray parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focal point it is going to cut over here and this is where the image of point a will be formed to to find the location for point b we again draw our first ray it passes through the optical center like this and then a parallel ray which passes through the this passes through the uh, focal point and basically it is point p1 so this is our image which is a combination of all the points between a and b and this time the image is inverted and real this is inverted plus a real image 
Now in the second case, we are going to shift the object to infinity and we know that if the rays are coming parallel, basically the image will be formed at the focal point. Now let's move our object closer, right? So now we have, uh, this is O, this is our focal point and place the image at a 2F distance, which is the two times the focal distance at B and the image or object is AB. Let's try and find out how the images will be formed. So again, we'll start by finding the location for A. So we draw our first ray like this, then a parallel ray, which will pass through the focal point, it will cut over here. And this is where our A1 will be formed. For the B, which is here, we can again do the same exercise, right? We can draw first ray here, right? Then a parallel ray cut at the focal point and this will be B1, right? So this is our image at the same distance as 2F given the, uh, at 2F. So again, it is inverted plus VL. Now let's bring the object closer to the focus and basically now we have an object AB which is lying here and basically on the principal axis the point is sorry yeah on the principal axis the point is B and is A and it is between the O and 2F but closer to F so beyond F so this is this is our focal distance this is our 2F so between F and 2F now let's find out how the images will be formed same rule very easy first let's draw a ray passing through the optical center will come like this parallel one cut like this and now it is at the on the principal axis and we know that it will form on the on the principal axis itself from the our first example so i will pass like this it will cut here and basically this will be our image this time it is inverted plus real and magnified magnified meaning the size of this is less than one centimeter then it is more than one centimeter now uh, let's bring the object ab at the focal point f and let's try and find out how to find the location of the image so for point a we basically put our first ray through the focal point then a parallel ray like this which will pass through the focus and these two rays are parallel so the image will be formed at infinity now in our last example here let's bring the object closer to the lens so somewhere between the focal point and O so this is our object doing the same exercise let's pass the first ray through the optical center undiverted and then draw a parallel to the principal axis another ray now we extend this ray and we have this image over here a1 v1 which is now not inverted but in the same direction magnified but a virtual image will you be able to see this image if we are watching it from here right so this is our eye so simply by drawing a couple of lines uh, basically you will be able to figure out how the images are formed and to summarize here we said that when the object was beyond 2f the image was a real inverted and reduced in size when it was at 2f it was real inverted and the same size and when the object was between focal point f and 2f it was real inverted and enlarged and when it is coming closer basically uh, at f sorry the image was at infinity and when it was coming closer to it it was virtual upright and enlarged so this is the behavior of uh, convex lens uh, concave lens uh, there's only one behavior only the size of image changes so let's do that quickly so now this is our concave lens and and here is our object so again let's draw this ray through the optical center which passes straight 
and the second one like this it will pass through the focal point or appear to pass through the focal point let's extend this and wherever it cuts this is where is our image is formed simply by drawing this uh, three rays or two rays even you will be able to determine the exact location uh, of the object and you can measure that uh, geometrically now let's uh, move quickly to the mirrors uh, we studied two kinds of mirrors uh, first uh, let me cover the plane mirror right so plane mirror is very simple you have an object here its image is formed at the same distance so this this distance and this distance is same there's no magnification or anything it is just the image is formed at the same distance uh, which you can experience uh, through any experiment uh, at home also now we have this uh, concave mirror and we want to figure out which rays we want to draw right so the first ray we know that is a parallel ray which we are calling it now p ray okay whenever we draw a parallel ray to the mirror it will pass through the focal center okay now we have this c which is the center of curvature right now we know that it is the normal so if a ray is passing through a center of curvature basically it is going to bounce come like this and then reflected back so it will be a straight line always okay and now if we pass a ray through the focal point comes here get reflected it will become parallel to the mirror so these are the three rays we'll be using to formulate images in case of mirror similarly uh, for the <coughs> convex mirror first ray is going to be parallel to the principal axis and then it will meet at the focal point the ray which is going to incident and reflected back go and meet at c and the ray which is heading towards the focus will become parallel to the principal axis so now let's see how we can use this to formulate image okay so now uh, let's start with the convex mirror first so now we have this object here and we have a mirror here so let's draw the first ray which is parallel to the principal axis and then get re reflected and will it's going to meet at the focal point f now the second ray heading towards the focus will come like this and become parallel meet like this and the third ray is the c so which will go like this and basically meet at the c so we simply draw a straight line from the object to the c and here wherever they cut it is where the image will be formed now we can see that this image is inside the mirror which means it is a virtual image and reduced in size so in all cases of uh, convex mirror the size of image will be reduced uh, we can just look at two more cases quickly so now the object is uh, very close to the mirror so first ray is going to come like this then go this one go parallel towards the focus and the image is virtual and reduced in size if the object is further away basically we have our first ray which is coming parallel getting reflected focus this one coming parallel or coming out parallel wherever they cut the image is formed the size of image further reduces so in case of convex mirror the size of image always reduces so convex mirror reduction image and image is always virtual virtual because we have to extend the ray form the image and we cannot put it on the screen we can only see it from here right so now let's look at the cases of concave mirror there will be three cases the first one is when the object is far away uh, beyond the beyond c and f so this is f this is c so here is our object the first ray we are going to draw parallel which will pass through the focus the second ray we are going to draw which will pass through the focus and then hit come parallel and wherever this two will cut the image will form in this case here as you can see the image is inverted plus it's a real image 
plus reduce in size. Moving on to the next case where we bring in the object closer between C and F and now here is our object first ray parallel passes through the focus second ray passing through the focus goes out parallel wherever they cut we have this image and now we have a real image inverted plus magnified And case 3 when we bring object closer to the mirror between the focal point and 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 O that's right this, this is o, the optical center now again uh, we draw our rays the first we draw the parallel ray to pass through the focus P ray then we draw a ray from the C directly connect this one and it will extend and third ray from the focus goes here goes like this wherever they cut basically we have an image and now we have an image which is virtual because it is behind the mirror we have to extend the rays to make it happen plus it is magnified and it is not inverted not inverted so this is a graphical method of forming the rays uh, in our next session we'll try and formulate some formulas so that we do not have to draw these rays all the time to find the exact location of the image so that we can simply have with knowing the focal length you know we can determine and, and the distance of our object we can simply determine using the formula let's say this is our distance u of object and this is f focal length and we can somehow find the distance of the image using some formula the relationship between u v and f and that is called analytical method uh, of determining the image formation that we'll cover in our next video